But the status quo, frankly, has changed, and Beijing has changed it. 与外交部长吴钊燮一同接受 TVBS 独家专访。川普时期的美国国防部长艾斯培的英文原著近期被翻成中文译本，一触即发。艾斯培再度提出，美国的一中政策应该被淘汰。Less strategic ambiguity would send a better and and more deterrent signal to Beijing. My view has been that. Uh, China has been the aggressor here, not not Taiwan and not the United States. We don't want to provoke China, and as you hear from President Tsai or other senior、uh, senior officials from Taiwan, and we also want to be able to speak with the Chinese if they do not have、uh, those preconditions on us. Wu Zhaoxi 强调，我国政府无法接受北京有条件的对话，更指出台湾近年力拼强化国防，而 ICP 也赞赏我国延长兵役。Is what I was recommending and what President Tsai and and her cabinet have taken on again with great political courage. 而被问及近期国民党总统参选人侯友谊曾提及，若当选，将恢复四个月一期。Mayor Ho、uh, made that remark, but he knew that uh, uh, he's running into a lot of opposition from the Taiwanese people. And also some concerns from the international community, especially from the United States. He quickly、uh, readdressed his way of uh, uh, speaking about the conscription, and he put some serious conditions. Because it sends all the wrong signals to、uh, to the United States and to Taiwan's other supporters around the world. I mean, what's The resolve of,、uh, of people in Taiwan. Wu Zhaoxi 也特别感谢川普时代的官员对台展现支持，更说与拜登政府也保持密切沟通。And we cannot let Beijing dictate our terms, like how Taiwan make friends or how Taiwan is building up its defense capabilities. 面对对岸威胁，台美走得近，有意强化民主同盟。TVBS 新闻许峰与张家宝、刘婷婷 H 小组特别报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。